Director of Structures Mike Abrams has been honored by the American Society of Civil Engineers with a 2012 Outstanding Projects and Leaders Lifetime Achievement Award. Throughout a prestigious career that has spanned over four decades, Mike Abrams has worked on some of Parsons Brinkerhoff's most significant transportation structures. A manager and mentor to many employees over the years, Mike says that the key to success for an engineer is being able to adapt to any situation. What really matters, at least in my mind, is do you have the education and the background to be able to analyze problems and deal with problems and solve problems. Uh, that's what's really important. The codes are always changing. They, they're changing rapidly. Uh, different clients have different standards. You have to keep adapting and changing to that. Technology changes, materials change. What's the important is that you have the, the ability and the, to, to solve problems and to adapt to constantly changing conditions. And that's really always been part of PB, part of the culture. Mike has served as project manager or principal in charge on major bridge, tunnel, port, and building projects. He oversaw the design of the Admiral Clary Bridge in Hawaii, a combination fixed and floating bridge that is only one of six in the world. He also led the design of the replacement of the George P. Coleman Bridge in Virginia. The bridge was assembled off-site and floated into place ready to carry traffic in a non-stop nine-day operation. One of the highlights of Mike's career was his role as design director for the Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge in Charleston, South Carolina. He discusses why he's proud of its design. What's special about it is a couple of things. One is the setting. It's in a very attractive harbor. It's a very long crossing, so the bridge uh, is, is nicely framed on either side. They're not obvious to, 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 in, until you start to look at the bridge, but then you see some of the proportions and the angles and the shapes uh, really made it attractive. A consummate team player, Mike remains humble about his accolades. I always find it actually embarrassing because I didn't win the award. I, the award was all the people I've worked with and all the projects we've all worked with jointly because I certainly did not think up all the things and do all the calculations and whatever happened, it certainly is not just to my credit, I was just one of the people who was involved.